you store your data in the cloud? Yes. Yes, you do, but that's where it goes. Oop. Drop this. You can't just let anyone handle your important stuff. Or your non-important stuff. Be careful with my shake weight. Jeez. That's why I only let Veeam manage my data and not the other guys. For one, I know they'll handle it with TLC. That's tender loving care. Self-service or concierge? Concierge. They let me upload my files to any cloud service I want on my own, or Veeam and their partners can take care of everything for me. Sir, here's a little something you can enjoy. Guess who never gives me bubble wrap to play with? The other guys. And if I ever decide I want to move my data from one cloud service to another, I can be 100% sure it'll make it over, in order. Hey, we're gonna move that picture to right over here. Is this you? That's my granddad. 100% of the data, 100% sure it'll make it over. I should trademark that. Any idea where D is? Try checking between C and E. That's what I do. Oh, of course. My stuff better not be missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another reason I love Veeam is that I have the choice of recovering my data granularly. Thank you. See that? I got the one thing I needed and nothing more. And in less time than it took for you to check and see if I used the word granularly correctly. Let's see. Highly detailed, having many small and distinct parts. Close enough. Wait, why are we taking everything out? It's company policy. It's what I have to do to help you find the one thing you need, okay? But it's right there. I can see it right... Oh, and best of all with Veeam, no redundant data handling fees. And if you know what a redundant data handling fee is, you also know that it's a pretty big deal. This things never work. Thanks, guys. Oh, sir? Whoa. Where did you get that? Beam. For free? Yeah. We welcome you all to Corridors of Technology. We also refer to it as COT. So the idea behind COT is to enable IT and business leaders to learn and adopt technology. In our recent interactions, you have shared with us that you need to understand the best practices of data backup, especially for your Microsoft Cloud subscription. The challenge is real. As they said, uh, it can be a regular data backup need in case of an employee leaving the organization or someone taking control of your tenant and deleting the entire data. Now, in this session, we'll understand more on the best practices of data backup from the experts at Veeam. Veeam is actually the global leader in backup, disaster recovery, intelligent data management software for virtual, physical, as well as multi-cloud infrastructure. Now, in this particular session, if you have any queries, you can reach out to us at this particular number or email us at cloud.fortron.com. You can also register at cloud.fortron.com and raise your request. All the offers and everything that is presented during this uh, session today can be availed at this cloud.fortron.com. This particular session will also be available at Fortron Academy, so you can visit the YouTube channel Fortron Academy. Today we have Shalini and Pooja with us. So Shalini is a technology and business leader with more than a decade of experience with a background of working with customers from mid-market to enterprise across the various industry verticals. She has been helping customers in realizing their digital transformation goals. She leads the regional alliance for Veeam for India and South Asian countries. Also, we have Pooja with us. She has domain expertise in backup and IT industry, handling data availability, monitoring, and DR solutions. She is helping customers to accelerate digital transformation, protect their production workloads, and go, uh, go with data availability and DR solutions, leveraging the latest and greatest of solutions available. So I welcome uh, Shalini and Pooja to this, and I want uh, you to take this forward from here. Thank you so much for the warm welcome, Sunny. And uh, I'm really delighted to be uh, able to uh, meet with you uh, over this virtual platform. Thank you for having me here. So uh, I will quickly talk about uh, what Veeam is all about and how we are helping customers in their digital transformation journey. Uh, so. As I mentioned earlier that the uh, digital transformation, it remains the number one priority for the CEOs and uh, it is a growth driver. In fact, the biggest driver of growth for top line and profitability for customers. 
and as darwin has said that it is not the strongest but the one which is uh, most transformative is going to survive so if uh, a lot of organizations continue with dealing with legacy infrastructure they tend to lose out on the digital transformation journey what is stopping digital transformation is the lack of it skills so uh, i would not say that the uh, technology uh, people at the customer place lack the skills but they are mostly busy in maintaining the legacy systems and just keeping the lights on and also uh, there is a major lack of time and budget so how veeam helps you in overcoming the important challenges that you face while transforming yourself digitally so what veeam does is that it is very very simple and predictable and flexible solution uh, which helps you in freeing yourself from maintaining the legacy systems right uh, uh, it is said that customers who are using modern data backup solutions and data protection solutions save 70 up to 70% of time uh, and that time can be used in using the more important doing the more important activities of transformation what it also helps is i would say that you know a lot of customers who are using the legacy backup systems are uh, paying a lot for just doing simple backup and recovery jobs whereas a modern data solution data backup solution should be something which not only helps you in backing up and doing recoveries which is the core activity but do plus plus which is also derive more out of your data by doing analytics monitoring and a lot of it sh should automatically uh, orchestrate it and things should be happening on their own you know instead of manually doing these things also veeam helps you in uh, providing seamless data security uh, and providing compliance and regulation guidelines a lot of you uh, have to uh, align with the strict regulatory guidelines and a lot of time actually goes in just complying uh, with all of those guidelines we with veeam you can automate those processes and make your life easier so veeam helps you in advancing from legacy systems freeing people and resources while protecting workloads and data it helps you since veeam uh, is completely uh, provide you fluidity of data across multiple platforms be it physical virtual or cloud you accelerate on your journey towards modernization so historically veeam has been known for uh, the backup provider the leader in backup for virtualization workloads over the years we've maintained the leadership in that and then we also became a leader in the modern data center and now we define ourselves our vision is to be the leader in backup solutions for cloud data management and the slide here shows what is our vision our vision is to be the most trusted provider of backup solutions that deliver cloud data management what exactly is cloud data management so we define it with five different capabilities which is backup and recovery our backup is simple flexible and it just works we provide you with cloud mobility so whether your data resides on prem on private cloud on public cloud within the hyperscalers you could be present across any of the hyperscalers be it aws to azure and with v11 we are also coming up with support for gcp so you could be present anywhere and your data is protected seamlessly over the years we've seen uh, at least say about 4 to 5 years ago there was a rapid adoption of cloud most of you tried and went ahead with cloud adoption but we what we also witnessed is that a lot of customers saw the uh, say azure burn or the cloud burn and there with the increase in cost a lot of customers then opted for coming back on prem 
and very recently what we also see is that customers are going for a hybrid model now with veeam you have the flexibility and the assurance that your data is safe and secure wherever it resides you can seamlessly move your data across the various platforms as i mentioned earlier veeam also automates and orchestrates the entire process of backup recovery replication it also helps you in planning your dr better in fact we have a complete offering which helps you in automating your dr process and you can be very sure that irrespective of what kind what kind of disaster that you come across you can be really sure that your data is always protected and it is always available governance and compliance no wonder we all have to be compliant and have to be in line with the various regulations we ensures that you are always complying with the various governance and compliance regulations so we've been recognized at all levels from gartner to idc to forrester research i would also say that a, an important parameter the nps the net promoter score the best of organizations for example apple the users uh, are really happy with apple products the nps for apple is 72 and let me tell you the nps for veeam over the years from our customers is 75 so that speaks volumes about the fact that how happy our customers are with the product and solutions that veeam gives so this is our position in the gartner's magic quadrant named a leader in fourth year uh, in a row and you can see how we are placed vis-a-vis -vis the other providers we've been continuously and consistently growing across both the parameters be it ability to execute or the completeness of vision this is some uh, data and it is a very recent one it is uh, the h1 uh, 2020 uh, calendar year uh, software tracker so as you can see while even in the current situation uh, where the business there is uh, definitely a degrowth uh, overall in the market uh, veeam has been growing and growing like how you can also see some of the uh, competition uh, brands over here are actually legacy and uh, uh, you know appliance based backup solutions veeam being a pure software defined software backup solution and these are the kind of numbers that we are clocking we already recorded more than a billion dollar revenue in 2019 and in 2020 despite all the odds and the pandemic we stand to exceed the number that we touched last year uh that was the global number and then now i'll share the uh, apj number uh which is more relevant to our uh, part of the geography and over here also you can see that veeam has achieved the fastest year over year growth among all the vendors and as well as overall the market average so sequentially also we've grown and we've also grown year on year so this is what i was talking about the nps 75 is our nps uh, and veeam is being adopted across the board customers of all sizes be it small to medium to large 84% of fortune 500 companies are using veeam and very happy with it overall there are more than as of today there are more than 380k customers globally we are a young organization started only in 2006 and we've grown really really rapidly we are disrupting the market and it is leading to rapid adoption of veeam solutions by customers this is just a perspective of how veeam is going across the globe and definitely in our region veeam stands uh, to grow at the highest rate of growth and why are customers choosing veeam as i mentioned it's simple flexible and reliable it's not us who say so it's our customers 
who have always come back to us stating that we it just works. So Veeam does not restrict you uh, in terms of uh, what infra you put in your landscape. You could be you could be on prem. We do not define which storage brand you need to be on. You could be on cloud and we again do not restrict you over there. You could choose to uh, buy Veeam from Veeam or you can choose to go through any of your uh, favorite uh, infra providers. We have very strong alliance partnerships with HP, Cisco, NetApp, Lenovo. Uh, likewise for cloud, as I mentioned, we have seamless integration with all the hyperscalers. And we have a really strong partner network in India, which is growing really fast. The way more and more customers are adopting Veeam, more and more partners are also aligning with Veeam. And it is these partners who are helping us reach out to customers like you uh, with our solutions. So why Veeam? So Veeam helps you in actually freeing your time from maintaining your legacy systems. You mitigate the risk, IT cost through intelligent automation. And the data, I mean, what good is data which is just stored and not being put to use for analytics and uh, using that data for making decisions? So as you can see, customers who are using modern data protection strategies actually save on cost, on time, on resources. So this is just a slide uh, of some of the customers that we have in India. There are more than 1500 customers as of now, active customers, and uh, we are uh, getting 100 new customer logos on a monthly basis, month on month. That speaks volumes of how disruptive we are in the market and how quickly customers are adopting our solutions. Good morning, everyone. I am Pooja. I take care of the technical uh, part at Veeam for uh, across Pan India for all my sales people. And basically, I have an experience across the hardware industry, like being I have worked for Huawei for servers and storage. Then I moved to Cisco as a part of a global war room engineer where I was working as a competitive analyst. And then uh, I moved to Veeam where I am taking care of the backup solutions across like be it a virtual infra or a physical infra or your workstations or your cloud infrastructure and your Office 365 platform. So in today's session, we are basically going to focus on the Veeam solution for Office 365 backup. So uh, as we saw in the videos initially that were played before this session started, so there is a common misperception in the industry that if my data is available on cloud or if it is available on Microsoft, so I don't need to take a backup of it. It is already protected, but the hard truth is that's not the way it is. There are multiple reasons and multiple factors that come into picture that we will be discussing today. Uh, and maybe how we can protect and how you can gain the complete insight or complete control of your data, even when your data is posted on Office 365. So primarily, there are six reasons why we need the backup for Office 365. First being your accidental deletion. Now, why we are saying this? So maybe from your Office 365, one of your employee from your inbox has accidentally deleted a mail. And maybe six months down the lane, uh, you want to retrieve that mail or maybe that SharePoint site. So as per the retention policy gaps or the retention policy offered by Microsoft, the data may or may not be available when you wish to do the restoration. Second being, so we will discuss this in more detail uh, in the coming slides. So second being the retention policy gaps. So this basically talks about once the data is deleted, how much time it is there in the deleted items box or deleted items folder and what happens to the data after that particular amount of time or that particular period of time. So and the complete access and control on that data. So that will be covered in the retention policy uh, confusions. 
the third being internal security threat so from an example per se if i talk about a malicious insider so maybe there is an employee in your organization who is uh, sending out the company's confidential email or confidential document via email to his personal email id and then once he receive it receives it on his personal email id maybe in one or two days he is deleting it from his sent items so there might be a malicious insider or maybe before uh, leaving the organization he is deleting all the mails or some mails from his inbox or sent items which he wants to hide or something so there can be such kind of a situation where you wish to have a look into his account or look into the state of the inbox or sent items that was there earlier previous days etc so that can be one of the scenarios from an internal security threats perspective apart from that a departing employees so as we all know the departing employees the data available in office 365 platform is available only for a limited period of time and after that the data gets permanently deleted so here again you don't have complete control of your data some of them being the external security threats so you may be attacked with a ransomware attack or some application that gets corrupted or something so maybe there are chances of some of your critical data or your production office 365 data uh, getting hampered due to it the fifth or i would say uh, the fifth one being the legal and compliance requirements where you have to keep the data for 6 years or 7 years as a part of legal and compliance requirements of your organization uh six being managing hybrid deployments and migrations so maybe you were initially on your on premise uh, exchange environment and you have started slowly moving to your office 365 platform you are migrating your employees so it may be that you want to protect both your on premise exchange environment and your office 365 employees so yes you can do it all using the single console so there can be several reasons why we basically need the backup of office 365 platform so uh, i have a snapshot taken from the microsoft portal where they clearly say to you with office 365 it's your data you own it and you control it so what do they mean to say by this set this statement i'll be covering it into the retention policy uh, or shared responsibility model slide which basically will gives us give us a bifurcation between what falls under the customer's responsibility model and what falls under the office 365 uh, responsibility model one more uh, snapshot that basically says point in time restoration of mailbox item is out of scope of exchange online services so just in case if you delete something and you wish that particular mailbox item to be restored uh, at a granular level that becomes a big challenge when you have to recover something that is very critical for your organization that is where we comes into picture and as i was talking about the shared responsibility model so this basically gives us an idea even if your data is hosted on office 365 what falls under customer's responsibility and what falls under the microsoft's responsibility so if i talk about your primary responsibility so the microsoft is only responsible for the uptime of the office 365 services the only the uptime of the office 365 console and office 365 data but whatever the data that is residing in office 365 the complete access the complete control of your data inside your office 365 platform is still the customer's responsibility so, so apart from that being uh, your responsibility being the retention policy so how many days do you wish to keep the retention of your data or whenever you wish to do the restoration at a granular level maybe you wish to restore a calendar from your inbox or maybe just an item mailbox item from an inbox or maybe a mailbox item from a sent items or maybe a particular sharepoint site or maybe a particular document from your online uh, microsoft uh, a business one drive account so that is where it falls under your responsibility model some of them being uh, microsoft responsibility is short time retention of your deleted items so as i was talking about it so the retention policy is given by the microsoft team 
is limited to either one month or three months that varies basically so i'll be showcasing them in the next slide coming in so if if something gets deleted so that may be still recovered within a span of one month or three months but the data that gets deleted after that cannot be recovered at all so that can be one of the reasons why you wish to have a backup of your office 365 workload the third being the security part. So uh, you are responsibility responsible for everything that is related to data level security. So if you have accidentally deleted something or your malicious insider is trying to do some activity, malicious activity or an employee is leaving the organization or someone is doing some evidence tampering, etc. or the external like malware attack or a ransomware attack. So Microsoft is responsible only for the infrastructure level security, the uptime of Office 365, their physical uh, security, the application level, the Office 365 application level security falls under the responsibility model of Microsoft. And again, the regulatory and compliance. So the basic regulatory and compliance requirements at the processor level are taken care by the Microsoft. But as a responsibility model for data, customer is still responsible for that. Coming to the retention policies that Microsoft offers. So this is how uh, the retention policies for Office 365 looks like. So as you can see, you have your inbox. Uh, everything runs fine. After two years, the data is moved to archival. And then if you delete something, so you can still uh, restore it from your Office 365 uh, console within one month but once the one month tag is over the data gets permanently deleted from your deleted items so that means that the data cannot be recovered after a month from your deleted items so whatever you have deleted from your inbox or maybe your sent items or anything so the data gets permanently deleted after one month similarly for your sharepoint online and uh one drive for business kind of a workload so data can still be recovered for uh, from a recycle bin till one month the second stage restoration is basically where you reach out the microsoft team and ask them to help you do the restoration for that particular sharepoint site or particular uh, onedrive account so that you have to mail them and then provide certain things and then you can get it restored from them that is the sec second stage of restoration which is a bit complex and uh, takes a bit more time as compared to the normal restoration and after three months the data gets permanently deleted so you you see that you don't have the complete control of your data be it your uh, sharepoint or be it your onedrive for business or be it your inbox similarly if an employee leaves an organization the data his data is still available in office 360 for a month but after a month the data gets permanently deleted so as we can see over here you don't have the complete control of your data so be it uh, on either of these platforms or either of these services so you don't have the complete control of the data you cannot do a granular level restoration you cannot have a uh, I would say you cannot keep the data as per your retentions, etc. This is where Veeam comes into picture. So Veeam solution for Office 365 basically helps you to protect your data residing on your Exchange Online, your SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business. You can protect them all using Veeam solution for Office 365. Now, when I talk about a Veeam backup solution for Office 365, it is a single console which uh, can be uh, deployed from an infrastructure perspective. It can either be deployed on premise or on cloud. So Veeam, as we say, we don't bind our customers to go ahead with a particular hardware or a particular kind of a setup. So Veeam is a completely hardware agnostic solution where basically you can uh, go ahead and deploy it on a virtual machine if you're deploying it on a premise or you can deploy it on a physical server uh, from the resource requirement for a backup server. And if I talk about it from uh, the storage perspective on premise, so again, we don't bind our customers to go ahead with a particular appliance or a particular make and model of the hardware so maybe a particular vendor or a particular amount of ssds or hard drive so that is not the case with Veeam. 
so it can either be a dash or a nas or a deduplicating appliance so it is perfectly fine or a unified storage etc so that is perfectly fine with me even if you are deploying this solution on cloud again veeam is completely okay with it even if you wish to deploy it on cloud so you can deploy this uh, solution seamlessly over cloud so if you go to your azure uh, marketplace or aws marketplace and type veeam you will be able to see veeam backup for office 365 kind of a setup that you can do and just put the licenses that you have procured from us over there uh, that you have procured from Veeam and just put those licenses and you can spin up the workloads or instances on cloud also and you can store the data in Azure blob. So that is perfectly fine with Veeam uh, from an infrastructure perspective. Uh, installation is also quite easy and simple uh, and you will be able to see in the coming uh, minutes like how easy it is to do or schedule the backup jobs or add your organizations or do the restoration. So coming to the restoration, as we have said, we help you to achieve a granular level recovery of your workload. So be it your exchange, your online uh, exchange online or uh, on premise SharePoint or your OneDrive for business. So there are multiple ways that you can do the restorations uh, at a granular level. So here you have seen you have 25 uh, recovery options. So with what we basically do is there is an inbuilt feature called Veeam Explorer, which helps you to do a restoration at a granular level. So basically uh, what it helps you to do is uh, you can open the particular backup file in an Explorer view and then you will be able to restore a particular mail item. So if you wish to send it as an email attachment to someone or, or if you wish to uh, save it as .msg or export that particular mail item as .pst, you can go ahead and do that. Or you just re want to restore a particular contact or a particular calendar or a particular item, you can also go ahead and do that. Similarly, for SharePoint site or SharePoint object, if you wish to send it as an email attachment or save it as a file, so save it as a zip file or etc., you can do that. Or similarly, if you wish to do it for OneDrive for business again, so you can also do it like restore or overwrite, or maybe if you wish to have the restoration at a particular file level from your uh, OneDrive for business, so you can either export it as a zip or you can export it as a normal file, or if you wish to send it as an email attachments, you can also do that. So we also have something like advanced search option which helps you uh, to search a particular mail item that you are searching for uh, while doing the restoration. And there is one more feature called compare with production, which I'll be showcasing you in the demo part of uh, the today's session. Uh, so this is what I wanted to uh, cover with a brief intro for uh, Office 365 from a presentation point of view. I'll quickly take you to the demo part where I'll be showcasing you the console for Office 365 platform and how this looks like, how you can schedule the backups and how you can do the restorations. Uh, uh, so this is how the console for Office 365 looks like. So as I said, you can deploy it on premise on a virtual machine or a physical server, or you can also deploy it on a cloud instance. So currently I am on my organizations tab. So this is where you add your Office 365 organization. So uh, there might be a customer who uh, who has a head company and who has a sister companies and wants to take a backup using the single console. So you can add all the organizations in a single console, schedule the backups and do the restoration. So that kind of setup can also be done. So this organizations tab is basically where you add the organization, you schedule the backup jobs, you do the restoration, and I'll also talk a bit about the report reports that you, that you can generate using this console. So we will talk about it. So you in this tab again, you can see uh, something if you can see what all has happened in the last 24 hours. So what all backups are currently running? What was successful? So what was successful? So what was the job name? What was the organization? I had, uh, ran this particular backup job. So was it a backup job or was it a restoration job was uh, like since this is a success uh, ratio. So how much data was transferred at what rate? 
and when uh, was the start time when was the end time which proxy was used to do the processing of the backed up data and where we have stored this backed up data so this is where you can see if you wish to have a brief summary kind of a setup so again if there was some warning for this for some particular uh, job so what uh, what was the some objects were processed warning etc so you can see it over here uh, expand them and you will be able to see uh, what all things have gone wrong and again if something had failed you will be able to see it over here so if you wish to see it from this console itself yes you can see it over here again you can see uh, I have the history tab where basically you can see everything that is related to your job so be it a backup job or a restore job or a failed or a successful or a warning job so brief summary you can see it over here also also you can generate these reports uh, as i was talking about it so i'll take back to you uh, on the organization's ta uh, tab in a bit while before even that so next i was talking about the backup infrastructure so there are three main core components that come into picture when i talk about the veeam backup solution for office 365 so first is as i was talking about the backup server so that is the complete heart and brain of the complete solution where you basically deploy this console uh, you uh, schedule the backup jobs you do the restorations you add your office 365 uh, organization etc so all the things that happen over here happens at the backup server the second component that comes into proxies which basically helps you to do the processing of your data so once the data comes from your office 365 uh, platform so the complete compression reduplication creating of a backup file in veeam proprietary format happens at the proxies and the third is the repositories so repository is nothing but basically where you store your backed up data so as I said, you can either choose an on-premise kind of a setup where you choose this backup uh, repository. You can just add the repository. So, or even if you wish to do the uh, setup on cloud, so you can also choose uh, the complete setup on cloud and choose Azure Blob or S3 bucket as your destination for storing your backed up data. So you can choose and select and add the object storage accordingly. So uh, this is how you can do the setup for the backup infrastructure over here in this tab. So once you do the setup, basically you go ahead and add the organization. So in the organization tab, so this is where basically you come to the organization tab and you click on add organization. So once you click on add organization, so this basically asks you what kind of deployment it is. So you choose an Office 365 uh, uh, setup or you wish to add or maybe it's a hybrid kind of an infra, uh, infra where maybe you have some of your workloads or some of your users on your on-premise exchange and you have some of them on your office 365 platform already so you can choose either of the options also here you select what all uh, services do you wish to uh, protect so it's, it's exchange online sharepoint online and one drive for business so once you go ahead and do that, so this is basically you select your Office 365 region. So most of the customers are usually on the default region. But if your organization, your Office 365 setup is under any of such uh, platforms, so you can either choose of the, choose those options and then you can go ahead with the modern authentication or a basic authentication for your Office 365 connectivity. So once you choose that, basically you go ahead and provide the username and password and grant the rules and permissions that is required for Veeam backup solution and utilize the same credentials for SharePoint and OneDrive for business. So this is where basically you just click next and finish. So this is how basically you add the organization. So once you click on finish button, so you can see over here an organization tab uh, will automatically uh, be highlighted or will be added over here under the organizations. And now all the users that are a part of this particular Office 365 uh, account are now or can be scheduled for backups or uh, can be restored once the backups are completed. So once you add the organization, you basically go ahead and schedule a backup job. So this is where basically you can see you can create a new backup job. Uh, so once you click on that particular backup job, you can see you can give any random name for your backup job and you can just click next. 
so this basically gives so there are a few organizations who wish to take the backup of all the users of all the sharepoint sites and all the onedrive uh, for business uh, things but there are also organizations who don't want to uh, do the complete organization backup and they want to do the backup at the granular level so maybe uh, a particular user uh, like maybe from maybe 1000 users you wish to take a backup of only 300 or only 500 so you can just book and choose those users or maybe a particular group of users that you wish to take a backup of maybe just the marketing department or just the high level uh, people or the c level employees or maybe just the it department etc if you wish to do the backups at that level or if you wish to include those particular groups itself so you can also do it at a group level or at a sharepoint site level so there might be uh, just a moment it is loading there might be particular that you wish to take a backup of you can just pick and choose them at a granular level and then uh, you can just schedule the backups for them or at an organization's level so as i talked about it initially so there might be a head organization and under that there might be several uh, sister companies and out of those several sister companies or uh, maybe six sister companies you wish to take a backup of only three sister companies you can just pick and choose those organizations over here and then schedule them for backup so uh, this is how basically uh, you select them so once you select them you will be able to see them all over here in this tab if you have chosen an entire organization as an option over here and if you wish to do the exclusion so maybe exclusion is very rare minimum so maybe just a user or a particular sharepoint site so you can just do the exclusion at a granular level after choosing an entire organization or you can also choose this option of taking a backup of the complete objects or a particular objects so completely fine however you wish to do the setup or the policy uh, this is where basically you select the backup proxy where the complete processing so the, whatever the backup proxy and repository that you have selected or you have added in the backup infrastructure basically you provide that uh, so for this particular backup job i'll be using this proxy for processing my data and this is where i wish to store my backed up data so you define that the proxy and repository so destination for your backed up data so once you do that, you basically schedule uh, the backup job. So scheduling is basically uh, where uh, this backup job should run uh, for the particular uh, users or a particular SharePoint sites or OneDrive for Business that you have added in this backup job. So you can either run it daily, so you can define the time. So when do you wish to run this backup job? So it can be only on work days or only on weekends, only on particular days, you can define that or if you wish to run that periodically so there are few organizations who have a requirement of uh, running the backup job so there is a compliance requirement the backup should happen every four hours or something so you can also pick and choose to do the backups periodically every four hours or something you can define that if the second part comes is maybe due to some reason this backup job failed for example so how many times uh, the Veeam backup solution should uh, retry this backup job? So you can define that retry option over here. So automatically, if uh, for the first time uh, when the backup job got initiated, if uh, got failed, you can just pick and uh, define this. So maybe after the wait time, so maybe I have given the wait time of 10 minutes. So once the first backup job got failed, it will wait for 10 minutes and it, it will again uh, reschedule or reinitiate the backups and it will do it three times. So I have scheduled it for three times and maybe even after the third time, the backup job got failed, you will be, be basically getting uh, the email notification and uh, you'll be basically this backup job will get failed and you'll be able to see it in this failed tab. Uh, also, you can if you wish to uh, initiate the first backup uh, whenever you click uh, start this backup job whenever after creating this backup policy, you can also pick and choose to do that. Or even if you wish to run it uh, as per your policy, that is also perfectly fine. So this is how basically you click on save. 
and uh, just uh, wait for the backup jobs to get completed. So once the backup jobs are completed, so you will be able to see that they, that is successful and then you can do uh, the restoration for that particular workload. Uh, so once the backup job was completed, you basically uh, go ahead and you will be able to see that you can do the restorations for them. So uh, once I see you have something called Explorer view that I was talking about. So uh, here you can see uh, that I have the Explorer view for Exchange, your SharePoint uh, and for your one drive for business which basically helps you to do the restorations at a granular level so uh, once the backups are completed and i wish to do the restoration of something so uh, i can see that it is opening my uh, exchange uh, at uh, on an explorer view so i'll be able to see all the workloads uh, that are a part of that particular organization. So it will basically on the left showcase me. This is the organization if I expand it. So I'll be able to see all the users that are a part that you have scheduled the backups. If I expand a particular user, you can see the archival folder. You can see the calendar. Uh, you can see uh, the contacts or you can see the conversation history. So uh, this is basically the team's chat. Uh, which you can take a backup of it. So in the current version, the backups of the Teams chat are happening over here. But in the next version that is expected for uh, Office 365, you will be able to see an additional option for taking a backup for uh, Teams uh, uh, chats directly. So you can see the inbox, etc. So you can see all the inbox, etc. or maybe the outbox or permanently deleted items, something. And I can do the restoration of a particular mailbox item at a granular level. So maybe one of your employee came to you uh, saying that I wish to do the restoration of this particular uh, item from this particular date. Uh, and I want to restore that particular mail item itself. So you can just go to this. Uh, the admin can just go to this particular user. He can expand his inbox and help uh, her to do the restoration at a granular level. So you can either restore it to the original site or if you wish to export it as .pst. So if you wish to uh, export it as .pst or if you wish to save this particular mail item as .msg or if you wish to send it as an email attachment, you can also go ahead and do that. So since we know our inbox can be a bit complex, there can be thousands and two thousands of mail items uh, that have landed in our inbox. It can be quite difficult to find a particular mail item that you are searching for. So you can just utilize the advanced find option. You can just apply the filters that you are searching for and just define these conditions in the filters and then you can just click start and you will be able to see that particular subject line or particular keyword that you have given over here in the uh, tab and then once you find that you, it will help you to basically sort out or do the restoration a bit quickly and a bit easier way also as i was talking about compare with production so maybe this is a malicious insider and he's deleted deleting something from his sent items or uh, inbox items so maybe today uh, the backup has happened and in this backup the backup uh, or the inbox, the particular mailbox was there. And tomorrow he comes to the organization, he is leaving the organization and he is deleting several mail items from his uh, sent items and inbox. So maybe you can just do compare with production and choose this particular backup file and you will be, be able to see that what all are the part of the backup uh, file and what all are missing in the production kind of an infra. So this is how you can uh, utilize this feature. So even uh, if you wish to restore the complete mailbox items, you can also do that. Or if you wish to export the complete mailbox items, so maybe if an employee is leaving, this employee is leaving the organization. And if you wish to restore the complete uh, mailbox item as .pst, you can also go ahead and do that uh, at a granular level. 
so this is from a user per se. So you can see I have uh, his notes, I have his junk emails, etc. I can do the restoration for them. So this is how the Veeam Explorer, so how granular you can go while doing the restoration. Similarly for SharePoint sites. So uh, as you can see, I have I get two options. So either I can choose the latest point in time or also I can choose uh, the previous backups also while doing the restoration. So just a moment. So this is basically opening uh, the SharePoint service for this particular uh, backup job in the backend. So yes, so this is the organization for which I have taken the backup and I have this particular user for which uh, this particular content is there. I don't know for the test purpose if they have kept something in this site. Yes, luckily I have something to showcase. So yes, if at a granular level, if I wish to do the restoration, so if I wish to re, uh, view history or restore this complete document or save this uh, document on the backup server as a file or a zip file, or if I wish to uh, send it as an email attachment, I can also go ahead and do that. I also have the advanced find option over here and I can either do the restoration of the complete site if I wish to. So this is how the restorations can be done for your SharePoint sites also at a granular level. Similarly, uh, for your uh, one try for business, so as I was talking about it, you can either choose the latest point in time backup job. So the latest point in time backup job is for third at uh, 23, so at 11 p.m. at night. Or also I can choose a point in time where I just wish to do the restoration from maybe earlier time or etc. something like that. I can just pick and choose. So uh, once you do that, uh, you can just able to see you will get this window where basically you will be opening the Explorer view and you can again do the restorations at a granular level at your ease and at your comfort. Uh, so just a moment, it is just uh, opening the backup file in the Explorer view. So this is how basically I can expand. I can see uh, all the content that is available in the OneDrive for Business. I can just do the restore of this document. So restore this document, like overwrite it or keep. So maybe if I have accidentally deleted it from your production One, uh, OneDrive for Business, if you wish to overwrite it or if you wish to keep both the copies, so uh, the latest copy also and maybe uh, underscore slash restored. So you can also do that if you wish to copy this document to uh, the backup file, you can also a uh, backup server, you can also do that. Or if you wish to save it as dot file or dot zip, or maybe if you wish to send it as an email attachment, you can also do that. So you can either restore the entire OneDrive uh, or if you wish to, or copy OneDrive uh, for business content if you wish to, or send this complete uh, OneDrive uh, data or to some uh, maybe admin ID, you can also go ahead and do that. So uh, this is how granular you can do go using Veeam solutions. So this is where basically you can define the policies, how much days you wish to keep the backed up data. Whenever something happens, you wish to do the restoration at a granular level, you can do it. You can have uh, the backups at your ease look for a particular user or something. So this is how easy it is to uh, have the backups, etc. Uh, uh, we talked about the adding the organization. We talked about scheduling the backups. We talked about Explorer. We will talk about reports. So this is where basically you can pull out the reports. So uh, basically, uh, so let me just check. OK, so currently I don't have. So as I was talking about it, so my demo lab is going through some upgrades. Uh, so maybe if I don't get to showcase these reports, so this is basically where you will be able to see uh, what was the storage consumption or what was the report. Uh, what happened to it? 
so how much storage consumption was there what all email uh, items that have been protected and unprotected email items so if you wish to generate or a license overview kind of a report so maybe how many licenses you have consumed and how many are pending etc kind of a reports also you can generate so maybe for your legal team etc if you wish to showcase these reports you will be able to uh, pull it out from here and showcase it to them or your it manager or your cio etc so this will help you to have a ready made reports generated instead of creating them all manually by all all by yourself uh, so this is what i wanted to cover in today's session i hope i didn't take much time uh, so thank you so much pooja for demonstrating uh, the veeam backup for o365 and uh, letting us know why we really need the backup because of the shared responsibility model thank you thank you shalini thank, thank you for thank this you and uh, it is great to know um, that you I have such a, a good net promoter score as an organization which is a very very difficult thing especially in the b2b enterprise market as well so now as we conclude on this particular session um, i'll just uh, walk uh, everyone through on this particular platform um i will we'll take about uh, next 5 minutes in total and then we'll just move forward from there so fortron is your trusted it partner and uh, we have professionally uh, as in we have impacted about 45000 plus people uh, professionals uh, digitally we serve 952 plus organizations and uh, we have 180 plus self learning digital modules available for you to simplify technology and adoption for your organization all this content that you see here is available on the fortron academy uh, this is a youtube channel where all the case studies customer interactions and product features demonstrations are available for you to access at any point of time um there are certain offers that are available if you want if you are on office 365 or uh, which is uh, primarily known as m365 now if you are on microsoft 365 for azure there are some amazing discounts available there's a url shared on the chat window if you can just register there you'll get all those offers also all the attendees of this particular session will get a free cloud optimization report for azure and microsoft 365 which will cover the security and consumption of your tenant if there's something more that you can do with that you can again reach out to us through the chat window or connect with your account manager so i'm sunny sharma um i'm the chief curator at fortron and for the last 11 years uh, i've been instrumental in the areas of cloud computing digital transformation and change management i played uh, key roles in driving digital literacy digital tool adoption and consulting services to me uh, medium and large enterprises uh, we had shalini and pooja with us today and uh, we will open this up for any q and a um, that is there and you can still ask queries or post in the chat window um, even after the session you can reach out to us and uh, we'll help you for sure shalini and pooja uh, any last thoughts that you have on this Thank you, Sunny. Actually, for providing us this uh, forum uh, to address uh, the audience, the rich audience that we have here today, and we'll be very happy to address any queries that uh, you may have, uh, the customers over here may have. Uh, I could see Mr. Deepak Som posting quite a few queries, so uh, we would love to uh, connect with him after this as well, if there is a requirement or if there are any more queries that he may have. Uh, and uh, thank you once again. we look forward uh, to uh, engaging with you further so sure. thank you shalini thank you everyone for taking this time out we'll come back to you again with another session on corridors of technology thank you again if you're like me and responsible for large amounts of data for a thriving company you want to know your data is safe protected and easily accessible That's why I'm all about Veeam Availability Suite version 10. It's seriously simple, seriously flexible, and seriously reliable. It's Veeam. You know better than to trust your larger data with just anyone. Up, up, up. I'm trying to try it. Angle it over. I don't know what angle it over means, and I am going up. Fellas, drop this. You broke the leg off the couch? Why didn't you tell me how big this thing was? I thought you'd be able to handle it. Veeam Availability Suite version 10 is incredibly secure, unlike the antiquated security systems still being used by others. <sighs> Why do I feel like my stuff isn't even safe here? Beats me. We got double-layered encryption on all your stuff. 
What does that mean? Two layers. And we have lasers. Instead of outdated vaults that are common, Beam uses S3 object lock functionality and immutable backups. What does that even mean? I'll show you. It means no one's getting in there. Hey, Tyler, is this you? No, that's my uncle. Oh, and the other thing is that my data is instantly recoverable in the cloud or locally. Hey, Randy. Yes, sir. I was hoping to keep a copy of that in my house. Consider it done. Wow, that was fast. You guys get it. So if you want the simplest, flexiblest, and reliablest solution for your data, just make sure it's also the Veemist. You can trust us. We'll take great care of your data. Oh, that, that was nothing. I was just trying something. In today's digital economy, 81% of enterprises are embracing a multi-cloud strategy to drive innovation and change, yet 66% admit their digital transformation is held back by unplanned downtime and suffer an average cost of $21.8 million due to protection gaps. It's very clear that in a multi-cloud world, you need availability of all apps and data to maintain customer confidence and brand reputation. Veeam provides availability solutions across your entire multi-cloud enterprise. A leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant and named to the Forbes World's Best 100 Cloud Companies, Veeam makes cloud data protection easy with a seamless process for sending data off-site to the cloud and cloud-based disaster recovery solutions to ensure data is always available in the event of a disaster. Whether using infrastructure as a service or software as a service, the data is still your responsibility with Veeam, you can protect data anywhere, in the cloud or on-premises, and maintain control with granular recovery. Get the most out of your cloud investments with cross-cloud data protection, using Veeam's cloud backup and replication to protect your data across the cloud, whether that's in another region or cloud data center. Our Veeam cloud and service provider partners offer cloud management expertise, and our solutions are tightly integrated with the leading public cloud providers, including Microsoft, AWS, and IBM Cloud. What's holding you back from driving business agility in this fast-paced world? Do you have availability across any app, any data, and any cloud? And if not, can you afford to risk being one of the 60% of businesses that experience data loss due to a cyber attack? Now is the time to become an agile enterprise by embracing data protection for the multi-cloud enterprise. Learn more at veeam.com. We are Veeam, your solution to managing the explosive growth of data across your business. Whether you deal with environments that are in the cloud, virtual or physical, your organization relies on you to build an infrastructure to support business demands, data protection, and to ensure security, compliance, and disaster recovery. That's why you need the most trusted provider of backup solutions that deliver cloud data management. At Veeam, our mission is to ensure your organization's data is always available, protected, and actively working for your business by bringing you simple, flexible, and reliable solutions. Take charge with our data management, giving you broad visibility and control capabilities. And in case of a disaster, have your company back in business in no time with our extensive orchestration engine. Our platform and broad ecosystem of partners provide a complete solution to help you support better business outcomes, to improve agility, availability, and business acceleration. Now you can rest easy when thinking about your data. You found your solution. You found Veeam. Virtualization and flash storage systems improve application performance, increase business agility, and simplify operational management. But that's only part of the story. The demand for your business to remain always on 24-7 can overwhelm even the most seasoned IT professionals. Prolonged application downtime and data loss can result in lost revenue, missed business opportunities, and can even damage your company's brand if you are not prepared. Ready for the good news? 
At Veeam, we believe you shouldn't have to compromise because always-on availability is attainable. By leveraging Veeam's integration with modern storage solutions, you will enhance application service levels, simplify IT management, lower costs, and reduce risk. Veeam brings it all together to help you improve availability by leveraging your investments in virtualization and primary storage systems without impacting the performance of critical applications that your business depends on. Veeam software deploys rapidly, increases backup and recovery speeds, radically simplifies data management, and most importantly, helps ensure the recovery of your critical business applications in seconds and minutes. It's time for a new approach to application availability. Find out more about how Veeam can help move your business forward while enabling availability for your always-on enterprise. and welcome to the Veeam Talks channel for sales professionals. My name is Andrea, and I'm a member of the Sales Acceleration team here at Veeam. Today, we're going to talk about why customers should back up their Microsoft Office 365 data. Customers, like Joseph, need to mitigate the risk of losing access to email and ensure availability for Office 365 users. There is also a need to minimize the following conditions. Limited access and control of data, retention policy gaps and data loss, security vulnerabilities, and regulatory exposure. Adoption of Office 365 is growing exponentially. As with many software as a service, or SaaS, solutions, there is misunderstanding in the market about how these products work. In fact, despite traditional on-premise backup, most customer data is still unprotected. When it comes to Office 365 backup, we need to educate our customers not only about how to protect their environment, but why they need to do it. Many of our customers, just like Joseph, wonder if they need Veeam backup for Office 365. They are under the impression that Microsoft takes care of it all. This is the confusion in the market we must work to overcome. When customers envision the Microsoft Cloud, they have a picture of that cloud encompassing both Microsoft's infrastructure as well as their data. But what is really happening? Microsoft's primary SLA to Office 365 customers is to maintain uptime of the service. They implement replication and data center to data center geo redundancy to ensure that the customer's data will be available when he needs it. If one data center fails, customers are switched to another for a seamless service experience. This means that data is consistently available in whatever form the customer provided it. However, if the data provided is corrupted in any way, that could mean trouble. Microsoft Service simply ensures that the data is available, not that it's in a usable form. Let's take a look at the shared responsibility model. Microsoft's primary responsibility is the uptime of the service. This is achieved through data center to data center geo redundancy. The customer's primary responsibility is maintaining access and control of their data that resides in Office 365. This can only be achieved through a backup solution providing granular level recovery and point in time restore options. Microsoft is also responsible for infrastructure level security including physical, logical, and app-level security, while the customer retains responsibility for both internal and external data-level security. Internal security threats include accidental deletion, malicious insiders, employee retaliation, and evidence tampering. External threats include ransomware, malware, hackers, rogue applications, and the like. Finally, when we look at regulatory level responsibility, 
Microsoft takes on the role of the data processor as it pertains to data privacy, industry certifications, and regulatory compliance. But the customer maintains the role of data owner, who needs to answer to corporate compliance officers and regulatory authorities. Veeam Backup for Office 365 is part of a comprehensive data management solution that supports audit requirements and customizable data retention settings, allowing customers to meet critical restoration timelines for mission-critical business applications. So, customers like Joseph may be left wondering, what are the risks of not backing up my Office 365 data? The risks are quite serious. They include limited access and control of your own data, retention policy gaps and data loss dangers, security vulnerabilities, and regulatory exposure. By using Veeam Backup for Office 365, customers can minimize these potential risks. Would you benefit from protecting data stored in email, SharePoint, and OneDrive using Veeam Backup for Office 365? For more information, contact your Veeam representative or visit the Office 365 page on Veeam.com to download a free trial today. We also highly recommend looking through Veeam customer success stories. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next Veeam talk to learn how Veeam can bring you even more value.